School children are taught there are three types of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Well, it turns out there's really a fourth type, plasma, like what you find in new televisions. And now St. Peter's College in Jersey City has become the nation's first center for microplasma research. NJN News health and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler tunes us in. St. Peter's College in Jersey City is a Jesuit school that's known for its liberal arts and business programs. But now it hopes to make its mark as the nation's first and only center for microplasma science and technology research. It was established with a $2 million grant from the U.S. Air Force. They're, they're our main funders because of the, the possibility for using microplasmas for better combustion of jet fuel for their for their planes and and the idea of ster sterilizing you know satellites and different things that they put up in in outer space what are microplasmas they're the tiny discharges of ionized gas about the width of a human hair that these scientists say hold the key to improving everything from water purification to energy efficiency microplasmas are able to make chemicals like ozone that are used for cleaning water and obviously if you don't have a clean water supply human health is gone. So, so that's one place where they're very important. Microplasmas are also being studied in the medical field for treating everything from non-healing diabetic wounds to melanoma, even for teeth whitening. But before these microplasms can be used on patients, feels a little warm. Scientists say they need to fully understand microplasms. Our uh, main goal here is to study the um, uh, basics. Um, whatever application you are going to use later on, um, the basic research, the fundamental research is, is important. It's the foundation. There you go. Now you can see it very clearly. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, Jersey City.